Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Two engineers from the University of California, San Diego, have published a paper suggesting how 3D printing techniques could be used to fabricate new materials with characteristics inspired by nature. The paper, written by Joanne McKittrick and Mark Myers of UC San Diego's Jacobs School of Engineering and published in the journal Science, identifies three characteristics commonly found in a wide range of natural structures, including spider webs, snail shells, and bird beaks. The three characteristics are toughness, lightness, and strength. Designers taking inspiration from nature is nothing new, of course, but now, thanks to 3D printing techniques, engineers can fabricate their designs in the same way as the animals that inspire them, by building them up one layer at a time. Next, astronomers at the European Southern Observatory in Chile have photographed the dark nebula Barnard 86 and its neighboring star cluster NGC 6520, producing a stunning new photograph not just of those two objects, but of what lies behind them, one of the most densely populated star fields in our galaxy. Barnard 86 and NGC 6520 are found slightly to the right of the teapot formation in the constellation Sagittarius, which contains many dense regions of stars because it lies in front of the galactic center. That patch of dark fog to the right is Barnard 86, and that clump of bright blue stars to the left is NGC 6520, and beyond them, the large Sagittarius star cloud containing so many stars that you can't make out much more than a speck of black. Really a remarkable image. And finally, fragments of the meteor that exploded in the sky over southwestern Russia and impacted near the town of Chibarkul have been found and are being examined by Russian scientists. The fragments of Chibarkul meteorite discovered appear to be ordinary chondrites. Most meteorites we find are chondrites, and they're of scientific interest not just because of their extraterrestrial origin, but because of their age. Chondrites, like the Chibarkul meteorite, contain some of the oldest solid material in the solar system. The Chibarkul meteor caused an estimated $33 million in damages. It shattered windows, collapsed roofs, and may have damaged as many as 3,000 buildings in six separate cities. But despite the roaring fireballs and earth-shaking impacts, and despite the nearly 1,500 injuries reported following the meteor event, as of the time I'm recording this, there have been no deaths reported as a result of the Chibarkul meteor, and that is very good news. Nature provides tips on what to do with these fancy new 3D printers we're so crazy about. There's a stunning new image of one of the most star-packed regions of our galaxy, and scientists are beginning to find and study the remnants of last week's amazing Russian meteor. That's the good news. Come on. Yeah.